days in the wake of promising to name names of powerful Hollywood pedophiles, Corey Feldman has been captured on questionable unspecified medications charges and secured up a cell where he can't address the press. The Richland Parish Sheriff's Office has affirmed that performing artist, performer Corey Feldman was captured Saturday night in Mangum, Louisiana. Feldman and his band were booked to play at Live Oaks Bar and Ballroom in Monroe, however he was captured before the show began. Feldman, celebrated for his parts as a youngster star in The Goonies, Stand By Me, and The Lost Boys, has stood up about the way of life of savage pedophilia in Hollywood asserting that youthful stars are routinely mishandled by senior figures in the business. The on-screen character, 46, took to Twitter on Thursday night to share an exceptionally long message, traversing seven tweets, with respect to his own particular encounters of mishandle. For the record, I will not be going on a talk show to disclose names of my abuser or anyone else's abusers. So please stop asking me to do so, he composed. Overcome Corey Feldman at that point asserted that the most recent round of claims including Weinstein's charged rapes has inspired him to restart his crusade against the pedophile ring that mishandled him and his companions as a youthful tyke. However Feldman's ensuing capture, just days in the wake of sharing his wants to name names of Hollywood pedophiles and get real equity, has cocked eyebrows because of its planning. Feldman's companions and supporters trust the capture is totally silly and is really a notice to Feldman, sent by intense industry figures, that despite everything they control his reality, and they can obliterate him freely. There are additionally fears that Feldman has been sent for retraining, otherwise called mind control programming, after it developed that he was taken to the Ronald Reagan Medical Center at UCLA. The inside is a notable MK Ultra site utilized by industry elites to reinstruct wayward famous people who have moved toward becoming liabilities by going off content. There are fears in Seinfeldman's circle that he has turned into the most recent superstar to be coercively re-adducted, at an indistinguishable area from Kanye West a year ago. After Kanye West started uncovering truth about the elites who run the world, he was persuasively hospitalized, tranquilized and reinvented as a monarch mind-controlled slave, as per an ER nurture who helped with the method. Kanye is a monarch mind-controlled slave. It's an injury-based personality control. They split his identity into sections. He has 26 particular identities now. They have names, said the ER nurture, who worked at the Ronald Reagan Medical Center at UCLA while Kanye West was hospitalized a year ago. Kanye was authoritatively determined to have dissociative character issue by a specialist, however as a general rule his identity was part intentionally and over and again at the Ronald Reagan Medical Center utilizing the monarch methods contrived by Mengele. Mind control exam started amid World War II, spearheaded by Dr. Joseph Mengele, a savage Nazi known for his mental torment tests. His all-consuming purpose included breaking down the most extreme measure of physical, mental and profound torment that a human could bear, and the base measure of affection required for survival. On the off chance that we catch wind of Corey Feldman setting off to a month-long medication recovery center, or notwithstanding vanishing for seven days, at that point we'll know he's getting Kanye West-style McCultra reinventing treatment. In the wake of the Weinstein embarrassment, Feldman's allegations could cut down a whole industry. He should be secured before the tip-top reconstruct him as a mind-controlled slave, doing their offering as opposed to uncovering their abhorrence.